Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden with the Geek Group. We're here at the Geek Group High Voltage Lab. This is Dan. This is his brother Zach, who are affectionately known around here as Tweedledee and Tweedledum. He gets to be Tweedledee, he was here first. See, you should have come and hung out, I told you. Yeah, I know. Dan is a bit of a high voltage nut and has never seen Thumper in person, so we figured we'd take a moment on his first day here at the lab and blow something up. So here's a quick look at Thumper for those of you that have never seen it before. This is the control panel. This is the big red switch. Over here, we have the main table of Thumper. This is the triggered gap, the output stand, the bus. This is the cabinet that is referred to as the tower for Thumper. And inside, our 2000 microfarad, 450 volt DC Cornell Dublier capacitors. Each shelf is one bank of 20 caps. They're wired in series for four, and five rows of parallel each, all the way down except for the very bottom shelf, which is a charging circuitry. Also, as part of the thumper system, there's the air compressor off on the side, and the emergency dump bank up on top, which is a bunch of very large light bulbs. Now, this is what it does. This here is the voltage on the bank, so pay attention to that number. Now, what I'm going to do is arm the system, set it to charge, and begin charging. Now, the lights go on very bright, you can see the system is charging. When I tell you, and not before, push the big red button, and it will dump approximately 250 million watts into the pop can, which cool. will act as a fuse, and will experience catastrophic structural deformation and sublimation, which means we're going to blow the shit up. Okay, right <laughs> now look at your foot. What? Look at your foot. My foot. Yes. Has your foot really changed at all in the past five, ten years? Not, no. Probably not so much. Okay. So when you step on the thing, don't look at your foot. Look at the can. Because by the time you would have to look up, it'll be over. It'll be gone. Yes. So just take a dry run, take a step forward, and look at the can, and step on the button. Okay. There you go. Yeah. Okay? Okay. And nothing will happen right now because it's, it's locked out for safety. Well, I right. Right. Now, right now, we have 1,500 volts on the bank and climbing. We're going to take this up to about 1,800 volts. So you're going to want to plug your fingers in your ears yep. and then push the button. Right. Okay. Are you ready? You can do, you can do that after you hear three times. Okay. Because we have to let them. All right. We've got 1,800 volts. I'm setting the fire. When you're ready. Good job. You've now driven the bank negative 160 volts. So we set this to dump. The bulbs light up a little bit. You can see this drops in a hurt. Cool. And now the system's locked out and safe. And that will take it totally to zero. And then we're good to go. And that is a quick look at Thumper. So, what'd you think? You have to push a bigger button. It was cool. <laughs> It so, was definitely catastrophic failure of the camp. <laughs> <laughs> so, Dan, welcome to the Geek Group. Thank you. We're happy to have you around. Yeah. Dan's a master welder and a pretty awesome guy all around. This is Zach, his brother, who's been hanging out here for quite a while now, and uh, you'll see a lot more of them in the videos. Maybe you can teach a thing in welding. Cool. You, yeah, it'll be fun. Sure. Cool. You guys have fun. We're going to get back to work. We'll have more for you next time. See you.